Hello, today we're going to look at some second grade addition and subtraction strategies with my dog Scoop. So what we're going to look at is a pictorial representation of a place value chart with vertical addition, meaning up and down. So Scoop thinks that drawing a picture really helps with her understanding and she knows that when she's add, she's going to be bundling sets of tens. You can trade ten ones for one ten, or ten tens for one hundred. So let's see what this looks like. So on our place value chart, it looks like I only have two places right now. I have ones, and I have tens. I'm going to use O for ones and T for tens. And I'm going to represent each one of these in my picture. So I'm going to look at 28, and I'm going to break that down into two tens and eight ones. So when I draw my ones, I'm going to use dots, and I'm going to always put them in groups of five. So I know five and three make eight. I'm making an empty ten frame, and since I have 20, I have two tens. Now you can represent this next part however you want. I'm going to do a little line just to separate them to make it nice and clear. Um, now when I look at 14, I know it's addition, so I'm going to combine these as a total. I know that's made up of a 10 and four ones. So I'm going to draw my four ones all in a row. And since I have one 10, I'm going to draw that there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bundle these as we go if we have more than 10 in a category. So I'm going to start with 1s. And when I look at my 1s, I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 1s. So when I go to my vertical addition, I know I have 2 in the 1s place. But since I have 12 1s, that means I actually have 1 10 and 2 1s. So I'm going to grab that 1 10. I'm going to move it over, so I'm going to bundle it and place it right here. So now I've got my two ones left in my place value chart. They're uncircled, and now I have one, two, three, four tens. I can verify this in my vertical addition because my two plus my one plus my one gives me four in my tens column. So 28 plus 14 is 42. The picture is to help deepen our understanding. Let's look at a harder problem. Now my place value chart is going to have three places. It's going to have a ones, a tens, and a hundreds. I'm going to use H for hundreds, T for tens, and O for ones. And again, I want to represent each one of these as their place value parts. So 135 is made up of five ones, three tens, and one 100. So when I go to my place value chart, I'm going to represent them that way. Five dots go in the ones column, three dots go in the tens column, and one dot goes in the hundreds column. I can separate these. I don't have to, and in fact, I won't this time. That 46 is made up of six ones and four tens. So now when I go to my place value chart, I'm going to draw in 46. So six ones. Again, I make a group of five, and then one more, and four tens. Now, why I put them in groups of five is it, may, it allows me to see tens easier. Like right here, I know this was five ones and six ones, but I can bundle this as a 10. And I'm going to move that over. So when I look at my ones column, I really have 11 ones. And we represent that in the vertical addition by putting one in our ones column. And I'm going to leave that one right on the line. And that helps me see the 11. But really, it's not 11 ones. We're going to take these 10 ones and trade them in for one 10. And actually, I'm going to put it right at the end over there. And now I count up my tens column. It looks like I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in my tens column. And that's verified in my vertical addition. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 
since I didn't have ten tens, I can't bundle and make a hundred, so I just have one one hundred left. So a hundred and thirty-five plus forty-six is a hundred and eighty-one. Let's look at one more instance. Eighty-seven, I'm sorry, eighty-four plus thirty-seven. Now, although it looks like I only need tens and ones in my chart, I'm actually going to make all three columns because I know addition makes numbers bigger. So I'm going to actually write my column headings difference. I'm going to use the number 1 with an S and say 1s, the number 10 with an S and say 10s, and the number 100 with an S for 100s. Same idea as my H, T, O. Either way is correct. So let's go ahead and represent our numbers in our place value chart. I know 84 is made up of 80, 8 tens, and 4 ones. So I'm going to draw my 4 ones in. And I'm going to draw my 8 tens in. And notice, I made my place value chart a little thin, so it's kind of hard to draw on. But I know 5 and 3 make 8, so I need 8 dots in my tens column. I know I'm also going to add 37. This time I'm going to do a little dotted line. Eh, maybe not the best thing, but just enough to show that I'm separating 84 and 37. And again, I want to decompose 37 into 3 tens and 7 ones. So I'm going to make my stack of 7 ones. And again, I always like to do 5 on top. And in this case, it's only going to be 2 on bottom because that makes 7 ones. Now I have 3 tens. So I'm going to add my three tens. And let's count up what happened. So in my ones column, it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ones. So I have eleven ones in my ones column. But again, I can't put eleven ones in my column. What I need to do is bundle. So I'm going to grab these ten ones, and I'm going to move them over to my tens place and bundle them over. I'm actually just going to stick him right there. So my 11 ones is represented in my vertical addition with one in my ones column and one in my tens column. But now I want to count up my tens. It looks like I have a lot of tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I actually have 12 tens. So I'm going to put a 2 in my tens column and I'm going to put a little 1 on my line to represent what's going to be in my hundreds column. And watch what happens. We can now bundle our tens. If I have ten tens, that means I have two one, I'm sorry, two tens left. And I'm going to take these ten tens and trade them in for one one hundred, which is represented by this one on my line on my vertical addition model. So 84 plus 37 is 121. So you just learned another second grade addition and subtraction strategy. Thank you.